Today we're discussing the up and down journey of Malik Willis's football career. Once you finish this video, you'll see just how far he was from being an NFL draft pick and how close he was to being a tiny football footnote in the grand scheme of things. At the end, we'll also go over his scouting profile and what to expect from him in the NFL. Malik Willis actually won't be the first member of his family to make it to the NFL. His uncle is James Anderson, who played as a linebacker for the Panthers for several years. It's kind of funny that Anderson weighed 235 pounds and Willis, even as a quarterback, is just 10 pounds lighter despite being 2 inches shorter at 6 feet. That speaks to how serious Willis takes his weightlifting and fitness even at a position that doesn't necessarily require such effort in that aspect, but if you watch him on the field then you'd know why. Willis didn't play quarterback full-time in high school until his senior year. For a long time, he lacked big-time offers to play in college. He originally committed to Virginia Tech, where his uncle played, but they only offered him a scholarship at defensive back. When Auburn quarterback Sean White got injured at the end of the 2016 season, the Tigers were suddenly in search of some depth at quarterback. I say depth because they were bringing in former five-star recruit Jarrett Stidham to be the starter. Yeah, the guy who was supposed to be the heir to Tom Brady in New England. Either way, Auburn was looking for another quarterback and Willis was desperate to play quarterback in college. The pairing seemingly made sense with Auburn's previous success with dual threat quarterbacks and with Willis being from Atlanta, Auburn was just a short trip away from home. In 2017, he was talented enough to quickly make his way toward being Stidham's backup. Early on in the 2018 offseason though, Willis was once again finding himself failing to get any reps against the first team defense. That was when he knew a future transfer would be in his best interest. That year he threw just 7 passes the same amount he threw the year prior. In 2019, he was informed he would be the third string quarterback, so he began visiting other schools. In reflection of his time at Auburn, Willis realized he was more focused on the physical aspect of making himself better instead of the mental part of the game in the film room and the all-important leadership role of that comes with being a quarterback. It was a valuable lesson, better learned late than never. No Power 5 school showed serious interest in him, meaning his stock had actually fallen since high school. There was so little film on him that teams were forced to resort to watching his high school tape. One of the schools that did show interest in him was Liberty, a team that at the time had only been in the FBS for one season. On the day before his visit there, he checked his Bible verse app and it displayed the Corinthians verse, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. When he walked on campus the next day, he found that very verse on the wall. At that moment, he took it as a sign that this was the place where he would continue his journey. Still, due to NCAA transfer rules in 2019, Willis had to sit out a year. He said to say the entire experience was tough would be an understatement. There were times when it was downright disheartening, but he did make the most of it at least. He did everything he possibly could to fully understand Liberty's offense. He also tweaked his mechanics for the better as well. In 2020, the day before the season opener, Willis received a text from his father with an article that ranked him as the 123rd best FBS quarterback. There are only 130 FBS schools. Now was the time to show the world how much he had improved. That year, he led Liberty to a 10-1 record. At the end of the season, they were ranked 17th in the country, an outstanding achievement for a team still new to the FBS. Willis was a big reason they were able to take it to that level. In his first season starting in college, he threw for 20 touchdowns to just 6 interceptions, and he rushed for 14 more touchdowns. At that point, he was a certified dual threat NFL prospect, a long way away from being the 123rd ranked quarterback. In 2021, Willis ended up doubling his interception total from the year prior. Liberty took a step back as well, going 8-5. and five. 
So that's where the whole project quarterback thing comes into play. NFL.com has a good scouting report on Willis. Here's part of what they said. Upside quarterback with special parts of his game, but with no guarantee they will be assembled properly into a finished product. Willis uses his rare combination of elite rushing talent with a rocket launching right arm to unlock explosive plays in two different ways. He has the arm to beat safeties to the deepest parts of the field and makes impressive throws from inside and outside the pocket. On the flip side, Willis's mechanical and operational inconsistencies lead to erratic timing and accuracy, and he doesn't throw with enough touch. Even if Willis fails to reach his passing potential, running ability doesn't slump, and he has the talent to produce on the ground at a level between Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson. So a lot of people are saying when you look at the ceilings of all these quarterbacks in this year's draft class, you'd like to think that Willis would have the highest one. Obviously no one knows for sure how high a guy can climb, which is why the ceiling argument doesn't make much sense in the first place. But basically what they're trying to say is this guy has the ability to make great improvements off his college game, where he was already successful, to the point where they could see him succeed in the NFL. Then there's the other favorite scouting phrase in being NFL ready. I think quarterbacks can be NFL ready in different ways. The general line of thinking is a guy like Mac Jones, who was widely known to make the right reads and be a smart decision maker, which, which would translate quickly to the NFL. When you look at these ultra athletic quarterbacks who at times struggle with accuracy and decision making, you tend to say he's more of a project and could develop into a great NFL player. But you could also argue that because he's so athletic to the point where he looks like an athlete among athletes, that he can fall back on that athleticism to help him in the NFL early on when maybe he isn't the best at making the correct decision or putting the right amount of touch on the ball. When you look at rookie Lamar Jackson, who succeeded on his feet just as much or more as through the air, that's where this comes into play. The very next year, Jackson was MVP of the league. Even though Willis's 2021 wasn't exactly the jump scouts were looking for, he still proved that 2020 wasn't a one-year wonder with plenty more great tape. If you look at the broader picture, the quarterback he is now compared to two, three years ago is a completely different player. And I think NFL teams are hoping he can make another jump in the next two years in their locker room. That's why there's so much hope surrounding a pick like this. Whoever takes him is hoping they'll hit the developing quarterback jackpot like a Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. And that's why he could be the first or second quarterback off the board. If you're wondering, Willis believes he should be the first. First. So that's all we've got for today. Let me know what you guys think of Willis and if you think he's deserving of being the first quarterback off the board.